Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make slideshow with n number of images. In this you can add uh, 20 images, 40 images as per your requirement. Okay, so in this you don't need to click on next and previous button to shuffle the images. This is just how it's going on. Okay, so let's start with the new one. I'm just creating a new project here. So I have created this new project and just make it large enough and what i need is first i need a container in which you can actually put a number of images for that i need a image list for that you go to toolbox and after that search image list here you can find it and just drag and drop it here in this image list just click on this and choose images after that click on add and just select the number of images you want to add I have selected this much and just click on open and here you can see that I've selected 15 actually 16 images it's from 0 to 15 that is total 16 and just click on ok and after that I need one picture box where I can display the images from this image list so that search picture box and just drag and drop it here and just stretch it okay so now what we need to do is we need that whenever this image is going to change automatically with time so that I need a timer search for timer in the toolbox and after that drag and drop the timer here and we need to write the code on this timer tick event just double click on this timer and here we have the timer tick event in this tick event, I am just going to assign the first image of this image list into this picture box. So that I am just going to write picture box 1, that is picture box 1 is the name of this picture box you can see in this properties and search for here, here you can see this picture box. And in picture box and what we need is to display is image and is equal to image list 1, that is the image list name just go and here you can check that image list one and just CTRL spacebar for hints and from this image list what we need is image and from the image list we can actually fetch the images with help of index number so I want to fetch the first that is zero index and just save it and let's start it and see what happens Here you can see none of the images in this picture box and this is why because by default this timer is disabled that is enable is equal to false so make it enable just turn it true and save it and just start it and see what happens here you can see now this in this picture box we have image but it's very small why this is this is because because in image list the size of image size is set 16 and 16 but we have to set 256 for each 256 and this is the maximum size 256 and just save it and this image bit depth to 32 bit and just save it and just start it it's taking a bit time so here we have another problem that now image is big but not in this full screen so how to fix this so to fix this just click on this picture box and just you can see this small triangle here just click on that and size mode just so select stretch image and after that start it Here you can see now we have the full image but there is no shuffling between the image so how to do that just go to this timer tick event and here we have we just take a variable that is and i'm taking count is equal to zero initial value will be zero and pass this zero to this okay so now this whenever this tick event will be gen uh, whenever the timer is changed for this timer whenever one second passes this image needs to be changed so how to do that I have set this counter here count here 
so i am checking a condition if count is less than how many images we have first check that in image list how many images you have you have 0 to 15 so just write here 15 and just close and now after assigning picture box that is zeroth index we need to increment this counter with zero and count to zero with one actually and just save it if we are incrementing count by one each time after the setting of the image to this picture box and just start it and see what happens here you can see that it's uh, changed very fast but at last it stops because it reached the max index that is 15 so when this reaches to 15 we need to cha change this count to 0 so how to do that just write one thing that is just need to write one condition that is else and in else we are just setting count is equal to 0 when this uh, count reach 15 then this condition will fail and this uh, loop will enter into this count and it will set 0 and it will start from 0 let's start and see what happened okay so here you can see that it's now not stopping it's from 0 to 15 then again 0 then 0 to 15 then again 0 but this is moving very fast how to slow it down to slow it down just go and just click on this timer and increase its duration intervals by 100 milliseconds to 1000 milliseconds just save it and just start it it's taking a bit time and here you can see this now it's working perfectly so now if you want to assign text box labels and button on this like you can easily do this just go to toolbar text box and just drag and drop it here just copy and paste to replicate and i need one button just drag and drop it here and few labels just drag and drop it here okay and just change it to name to user name and this one to password okay and after that change this button to save or login i'm just giving it login and just drag and drop it here and just start it it's taking a bit time and here you can see this now it's perfectly fine so thanks for watching please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any doubt just comment in the comment section and if you want to see more videos just check out my playlist and if you want to that i make uh, videos on some particular topic then you, obviously you can comment that in comment box i will i will definitely make video on that so don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon thanks for watching